love. Psalms 25, it was a wonderful heavenly melody. I don't know what it sounded like. But it wasn't like this worldly, sinful, whether it be rock music, Christian music, rock, Christian rap, Christian um, R&B, Christian, they always add Christian to it. That's the way the devil is. God never mixes with the devil. God never mixes with the devil. Amen. Amen. And so this Psalms 25, we got the words to it. But I hope, I believe look, one day in heaven, we, Lord, what, what, did, what did that wonderful, beautiful music sound like? You kept the words for us. Amen. The words are, are the most important thing anyway. Ain't that right, my friend? The words. A lot of people, they look for a church. They say, what are you looking for? They're looking for some worldly music. That's exactly what they're looking for. Well, they should be looking for the word of God, the most powerful thing. Now, thank God for music, but the word of God's the most powerful. Ain't it right, friend? We're not into entertainment. Ain't it, ain't it right? And so, of course, and in, um, in verse 8, good and upright is the Lord. We'll pick up here from last week. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he, will he teach sinners in the way. Look at verse 8. Good and upright, see, is, is the Lord, Jehovah. When we see Lord, capital L-O-R-D, is Jehovah, the omnipotent one, the true one, not, not a little God, not all these different gods. Now, thank the gods. They, they, they got a commercial on, thank the gods. No, 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 God, there's no gods. They always say, thank, <laughs> playing around with the devil, they're, they're playing around with the, the gods of this world. There's one God, that's Jesus we're talking about. Thank him. He's good, upright. Amen. Perfect. Uh, this is Jehovah, the Lord. You understand? Uh, when you say the Lord is an omnipotent one, all-powerful one, uh, omnipresent, right? Everywhere? Everywhere. He's there. He's everywhere. Satan's got to run. he got to walk around. God, everywhere. That's, that's him. Jesus, all powers in his hand. Uh, 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 omniscient one. What's that mean? Omni, all powerful. He's the only one who knows your thoughts are far off, can read your mind. Amen. Satan can't read your mind. Um, one preacher said it could be true. Could be true, thinking about it. Maybe we need to be careful what we say out loud sometimes. Maybe. You know, maybe, maybe sometimes 
you know, it says a boxer, when he sees your weak spot, he'll hit you in the weak spot and then knock you down. Maybe we need to be careful sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. But Satan cannot, he don't know your thoughts. Only one that knows your thoughts, that's Jesus. He knows all about your, your mind, your brain, what you're thinking. He's God. He's the creator. You know that? And then, then uh, no doubt, you got the all-powerful one. You got the omniscient one, all-knowing one, all-present one that he's talking about. And, 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 and here in the song, remind them that this is the only one. This is the only one that is upright, that is true. This is, this is, this is, this is the one. This is, this is the this is the upright one. This is the good one. And, um, and there's none good but God. Jesus said, why call ye me good? Good master. He looked at him and said, why call ye me good? Only one that is good, that's God. Bible says there's none good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He helps us so much, doesn't he? There's none good. None, good. none of us are good. There's none good. All have sinned. All fall short. We all have sinned. Many a times, I'm straight. You know you're going to heaven. I'm straight. I'm good, man. No. God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. We got what we deserve to be hell. Including the preacher. You too. Amen. That's the problem. They, they, God takes a nobody. He makes them somebody. And now they think they're everybody. Pride. But if we, if we realize that we don't deserve these things. Job said, naked I came in this world, naked will I go out. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wake up! I know you're tired. You're very worried. You're very tired. You're very tired. God bless you. You're hard workers. I love you. God bless you. Amen. Stay awake. Amen. Amen. Amen? God is so good. Amen. Think about the goodness of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Every time I see somebody now and fall asleep, I think about the comfortable, uh, they, got, they got the commercial out, you see it. My, uh, uh, Megan, Megan, uh, 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 the, the pillow man's here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> My pillow man. That makes me think, well, you, somebody, you might want to get too comfortable. Be careful over there. Well, boy, get, get this pillow. <laughs> Two point hole. Rip it. No doubt deceiving. That pillow's bad. I'll tell you, that pillow's ain't just as good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll give you a pillow down at Walmart somewhere. But anyway, anyway friend, God bless you. Amen. Don't get too comfortable. I, you make me think about the commercial. Huh? But, but don't get too comfortable. Amen. Amen. But on the series, come on, God, shake yourself. God's good. Amen. 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 Ain't God wonderful? Amen. Ain't wonderful? Amen. Good upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Look at that. He will teach sinners in the way. God, I'll be like God. So you see the multitude begin to teach. He's seen the multitudes scattered, multitudes, multitudes. He's seen so many of them as sheep wandering. He said he had compassion on them. And he came to seek and to save sinners. Jesus. Friend, your pastor preaches against sin. He hollers, he screams, throws a fit. But we love the sinner. Amen. We hate the sins, but we love the sinner. And I know we, we talk about all the wickedness out there. But Jesus died for sinners. And we want sinners to be saved. We want to get them to Sunday school. We want to get them on the bus. There's a reason why. Thank God for the Helping Hands ministry. We feed them food. We go out and rescue mission. I go to these white churches. They have no black people. Zero. None of them. You're going to tell me they can't fix a meal like Sister Barnett and Sister Ruth? And they can't go down to the rescue mission and bring some black person in their church. Let them get mad at me. Let them get upset with me. We're having this reaching all races everywhere conference for a purpose. Amen. Won't preachers get right with God? You're going to tell me these black preachers that tell me, well, we're in the deep south and, and ain't no white people going to come. And we're, you don't know how prejudiced it is here. You're going to tell me that black church can't go down to rescue mission people and feed, and feed those white people? Amen. You gonna tell me they can't get none? Amen. Amen. Let them all get mad at me. Amen. Jesus loved sinners. He ate with them, Amen. sat with them. Amen. Now that's the difference of trying to fellowship with um, God's people, the um, Christians, and and First Corinthians five. It says you're not supposed to be fellowshipping with 
if a brother be a drunkard or a fornicator, sleeping with somebody they're not married with. You know, you're supposed to be hanging around. They'll get with, they come to church, we'll preach to them, teach to them, but you're not supposed to be hanging with them. 1 Corinthians 5, you're supposed to be comp company, a, 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 a robber, a thief, a, a covetous, whatever. Why? A companion of fools will be destroyed. Amen. Amen. But Jesus went down there and sat with them and ate with sinners that are lost to teach them. Amen. That's different. Amen. To go get them saved. You don't, you don't mean you hang around them in your school. Amen. Amen. Cuss and curse and act like a stick and heathen and they say they're God's people and they're a brother in Christ. Amen. Now if you're going to try to win them, you're trying to go you know, get them saved, that's different. You don't hang in with them. I'm concerned about you. Sad. Going to mess your children up and everything else. Now, when they get on their own and they're adults, at least you gave all that you can give to help them. Amen. And what we do that, we do that to love the person. Anyway, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul said, let Satan start working on their flesh. Let the devil start working on them. And thank God, 2 Corinthians... You read the chapter, one and two. Let Satan get advantage of you. Forgive that person. They've asked for forgiveness. And by the way, when they, after they do that, they need to come back saying sorry. Amen. Amen. Forgive me, God, and show repentance. Amen. Amen. After you don't whore around in the bed, you don't come look at bring your baby and start laughing around and no repentance. Want people to hang around you. Amen. 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 Running with you. Amen. Am I right? Right? Amen. But when it comes to sinners that are not saved, sinners that are not children of God, that don't know the right way, Jesus ate with them. They sat there, uh, often they would try to take their beer and hide it and then take their wine and spill it and say, I can't talk to you. I, um, I, I can't, you, you know, I can't talk to you. And I explained to them, Jesus came and sat with them. He, he wants to say you he wants you to be saved Amen. 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 we are up here in apartments up here I believe the preacher he was drinking I believe he was drinking I explained to him Jesus came and and, and, and he you know he, he he ate and tried to help sinners I led him to the Lord the preacher while he's drinking his wine amen, amen. let him to Christ amen. Let, let him to the Lord my, my partner said, he said he was a preacher. I said, I didn't know that. He said, yeah, you didn't hear him. I said, no, no. He, he said, yeah, he said he's a preacher, a pastor. <laughs> Let him to the Lord. Amen. You got to teach him. Amen. Teach him. Amen. God bless you. Teach them babies. Teach them. They need to hear it. They need to get in their heart. They're smarter than you think. They know they're brave. John the Baptist jumped up inside the womb. Toddlers, juniors. <laughs> Hang in there. I'm a, it's going to be a short one. I'm about to close. I'm about to shut it down. I'm about to shut it down. God, I love you. But hard workers, Amen. you're hard workers, Amen. you're hard workers. I love you. I'm about to shut it down. Short serving that, that doesn't make up for them long, long, long ones I had. Let's bow heads in prayer. I better shut it down now. Okay, amen. Heads about eyes are closed. Heads. Wednesday, God bless you, precious people. I love you. The altar's open. May you be fresh at the altar. Let may God pour His Spirit on you. May you teach sinners. May you glorify God. Come on, all over the altar. Pray for the conference. Pray for the rare Bible conference. Pray that preachers will get right with God. Christians will get right with God. Let's pray for loved ones. Brother Bill, we'll pray for Atlanta. I know it breaks your heart. Thank God your loved ones are not there. So, Trace, we'll pray for loved ones in Atlanta. Thank God.